Hi there. Welcome to Mr. VoIP Utilities. We would like to introduce you to our predictive dialer. The target audience for this offering are call center agents and operations that require large databases to be used for mass customer engagements or broadcast. A wrap-up code is included to allow results of the calls to be consolidated for further actions. Let us have a look at how a predictive dialer works by watching the demo. There are altogether four different variations to our dialers. Note that each dialer requires its own unique license to work. Firstly, we will be featuring throughout in this demo our most popular predictive dialer. This is where a call is made first to the customer from the database featured and then connected back to the call queue. Secondly, the proactive or power dialer, where the agent is engaged first and then the customer is dialed. Thirdly, the broadcast dialer. This is where a customer is dialed and a pre-recorded message can be selected and played back to the recipient of the call. Fourthly, the broadcast survey dialer. Useful to consolidate results to a survey. This is where a customer is dialed and reacts to an interactive voice response, IVR, based on the recorded messages heard and choices selected. Results are then consolidated and presented back as a call survey report. Should you have a desired option on how the dialer should work for you, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We will be happy to customize the tool to work for you. Prior to turning on your dialer for the call campaign, we will need to determine the number of times the dialer needs to revisit dial number that is engaged or unavailable. This includes as well the interval between these attempts to redial. You can also determine the amount of time in seconds between the interval where the number needs to be dialed again. Organizations tend to classify their telemarketing efforts into call campaigns. This is where call agents make calls to their customers to get valuable information about certain products and services or to solicit a response. In instances where separate teams are doing simultaneous calls based on different databases and outgoing phone numbers, we will need to differentiate this exercise by utilizing a separate call or dialer campaign. To make the dialer work, we need to first create or upload the desired database for it to dial out to. Context can be manually added or mass uploaded in a CSV file format. We can create a contact manually like so.
Note that the dialer is not able to differentiate between a voicemail or fax line. When faced with such instances or numbers, we recommend that the call agent classify them in their respective wrap-up codes at the end of the call. Such numbers can then be removed from the main database if required. To activate your dialer, you will need to flip this switch from red to green. When turned on, your dialer will start dialing and patch the calls to the next available call agent that is in the designated call queue. This process will continue until all the contacts in the database is exhausted. If there are no agents available to take the call, or when all agents are busy, the dialer will temporarily pause until the next available agent is made available. At the end of each call, you can make use of the wrap-up code to categorize broadly the results of the call for further follow-up actions. You can add or delete these wrap-up codes according to your needs as demonstrated here. Note, however, that these additional newly created categories will not appear in the main left-hand table of mConnect by default. Such an option calls for further development at a cost. Even without this display updated, the wrap-up functions will still work and serve your needs well.